Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the So Today we're playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on PC and my HD Space and RTX 490. So I wanted to retest this game because originally I had the HD texture pack for uh, the New York Skyline which was causing some stutters. So I did remove it and I wanted to retest the game. And I will show you the graphics tank in just a moment. Let me just first take off and uh, take off from JFK International Airport to Airbus Air 320 Neo. So we are running the ASUS 6 RTX 4090 with 170 megahertz core overclock, 1185 megahertz memory overclock. We're running a render res resolution of 3040 by 2160 and my 4K 150Hz display. We are using DLA form of anti-aliasing and uh, we are running DirectX 12 mode, HDR10 is enabled, and the graphics settings here are all the ultra preset with uh, train level detail above the highest default which is 100 to 150 and also object level detail at 150 which is higher than the default rating of 100 and then all these other settings here are all the way maxed out with everything turned up. So we're going to go ahead and fly and uh, check out JFK and I'll try to do the cockpit view every now and then to further stress the GPU and see how things run but I just mainly wanted to see if uh, those stutters that I had prior uh, will be removed now that I got rid of that texture pack. So we'll slowly uh, make our way towards the New York skyline and uh, like I said, I'll try to uh, change to the cockpit views every now and then to uh, also further uh, stress the GPU and stuff, so. But yeah, this is such a neat, a neat title, you know? It amazes me that they can even run this in the Xbox Series X, given how large the world is and how detailed it is. It just really amazes me that this engine is able to even run on a console like the Xbox Series X. Of course on the PC you're getting the best experience when you can uh, really fully max out the settings. But I must say, even on the Xbox it does look pretty pretty good for what it is given the GPU horsepower and CPU performance of the Xbox. So, so far, I haven't really seen any major stutters, but we'll get closer to the city skyline here. And this will be a kind of a shorter video than usual, because I don't have a whole lot of time to uh, record content today. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, basically test the performance to see if there's uh, any more stutters. So far, I would say pretty smooth sailing, though. Just those little tiny micro stutters, but you don't really see that in game, so really nothing too uh, bothersome. Just look at all the details, all the little buildings, parking lots, and cars, it's just like so amazing. I mean I've always been really impressed with aviation and flight simulators. I mean I've been playing flight simulator since like, I don't know, 1993 I think is when I played uh, a really early version of Windows 3.1, so I've always really been into flight simulation titles. This is the interior cockpit view and we'll try to fly around New York City and I also want to fly over Central Park because uh, all the foliage and stuff is very detailed. There's one stutter there. But I just want to see uh, if the performance is any better now. Other than a few little micro stutters, it's been, uh, I'd say, running better, I think. fly over Sister Park here. I'll try to stay low because uh, all the foliage, the trees, the park, the water, the lake, I think there's a baseball field, like everything is just very heavy in this area because there's so much foliage. So we'll try to fly low. Not so low that we uh, hit the ground obviously, but pretty low. I said that's pretty smooth. We throttle up and we'll turn around and then we'll uh, head back towards the city just to get another look. 
but I really do think that texture pack is what was throwing off my performance uh, with my prior videos. And I do have frame generation on, just for those of you who don't know, I did forget to mention that in the options, but it is on uh, what we are running DLA uh, anti-aliasing, which is the highest uh, quality anti-aliasing available. So we'll get another look at the city here and uh, just kind of marvel at all the detail and beauty this game could recreate. to be seen cars on the water. It must be a glitch with the traffic, but they're supposed to be on that bridge. But yeah, I'd say overall it's running a whole lot better than it was prior, so... I say I better just keep that texture pack off because all of this is hurting performance and making uh, the game perform worse. Anyways, I just wanted to make a short little video here, so if you did like the video, do give this video a like. If you do want to see more content like this, more gaming 4090 videos, more Cord V6 uh, videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys for another video soon. Uh, peace One out, time. thanks for watching. One time.